Good afternoon uh, for those of you on the East Coast. What time is it? Around 2.26. So, I mean, we're going into the afternoon for those that are in California. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Um, I absolutely love this black girl train that we have been on the... Uh, black girl train someone literally like people have been sending stuff to my cash app i'd greatly appreciate it um this week has started off a little crazy but listen um whether or not she's talking about manifesting or anything like that listen when you put a seed in the ground um seeds that you've sown um tears that you've cried things that you've worked for things that you've tried um those things uh they, they come out to um, your good. They come out to your better. So, you know, if you are a believer like I am and you sow, then you know that, um, you know, it is going to come to you because it all belongs um, to the screen. Um, it definitely, um, thank you for the lights. Thank you for the hearts. Um uh right now i am watching the speaker vote um a little bit tired this morning i deal with um some slight cases of um arthritis if you have been in the beauty industry and um even the culinary industry as long as i have <laughs> then you know um standing on your feet and all of those things really do do a lot for you um, again, thank you for the likes, thank you for likes, thank you for gifts, thank you for tuning in. Um, so for um, uh, today, you know, a lot of things right now, we don't have a fully functioning Congress right now. Um, they decide a lot that happens, um, a lot of these bills that happen, a lot of um, things that go on, some of the things that are decided by states, some things that are decided federally. Um, but they influence a lot of those things. In some states, some of them eliminated the makeup artist license. Some of them, uh, like the state of Maryland, required um, that now nail techs get a full cosmetologist license so that they can operate um, the way that they are because there's more things that they needed to know. One, you know, a lot of times you go to the nail shop. How many times have you gone to the nail shop and gotten your eyebrows um, arched, um, you know, lip wax, all that stuff, eyelashes and everything else? And the person, they know how to do it, but they're not officially trained. They don't have a certification. They never went to a school and all of that. So those are things, um, you know, that helps. Absolutely. Um, so uh, if you like are tuning in, you're not like officially in the live when you tap in everything else, my cash app is there. Um, I have some inventory. Uh, so I'm a Mary Kay consultant. I have some inventory um, that I am overstocked. So consider me overstock.com. Um, and I'm working on getting that out so that um, you can be able to do that. So I have a pink clay mask, charcoal clay mask. Um, as well, I have micellar water. Um, our eye makeup remover, uh, those items are available. Um, my pink clay mask normally retails for 18, it's going for 10. The charcoal mask normally retails. I am going to do a live, um, probably tomorrow, um, with these products so that um, they can be seen and go through those. But, um, please go to the link in my bio. Um, make a purchase get your skincare routine start your january off jump start your january skincare um 
even if it's a matter of starting your January start jump start to your January business, you can be able to do that as well. Um, I am looking for ten people uh this week to set up appointments, facial appointments or um and that is simply just a virtual facial, um, a skincare assessment analysis. Um, I am an esthetician, but I also use tools um, with this company that help me uh, do it. And in fact, it actually analyzes a little bit better than even uh, what I can do with a magnifying loop. So um, with that, I like the lashes on this filter. I'm definitely, I have been working on... Um, a lash line and deciding what I want to add to it. So, you know, just looking at different things um, as well. Uh, you know, we are we are at an impasse right now with our um, with a lot of things going on. Um, you know, a lot of changes and um, a lot of different things happening. So, you know, you have um, a lot of Caucasian women that are attacking um, black women at different points in times. I watched a TikTok last night. Literally, a woman said she was on LinkedIn. Uh, she made a post about changing the way that we uh, describe diversity and also who should actually head those um, departments or those movements within corporations. And her s suggestion was that you should let a person of color or a black woman lead the charge on that. Because one, what does a white woman really know about, you know, diversity outside of in reality, in reality, without, you know what I'm saying, without stigma, without prejudice and everything else. In reality, historically, white women have been framed as fragile to be protected uh, as a weapon against black men. Yet so many of them chase it because they feel like they are uh, a prize or someone else and everything else when they already have a full prize. You know, you love who you love, you follow who you love, but historically... Um, white women have been revered on a pres uh, a pedestal that is significantly better than the black women that were even so much as nursing their children during um, periods of slavery and after they hired wet nurses. Their wet nurses were black women. They were not Hispanic women. They were not Chinese women. They were not Korean women. They were not Japanese women. And although these races that I'm naming, um, they were not Indian. <laughs> they were not Mexican. They although these different races or um variations of those um races, they were not um they did uh wind up getting caught up in the train of slavery um at some point in time they were not held in captivity in uh, near perpetuity as much as the african american um so a lot of the trauma and stigma is still within a lot of the things that we do um the penal system um you know the jails uh the court systems um, even the way law enforcement reacts, even the way they teach us to do law enforcement, even if we become um, uh, officers of the law, no matter what capacity, whether it's your local, state or federal um, in that aspect. Um, but her point was that, you know, uh, black women can lead the charge because they understand the need for diversity better okay um and not just you know as far as that but the the what the white woman did was she didn't want to make herself look stupid or attack to um or attack out in the open she would rather do it in the inbox so she inboxed her okay 
So instead of, um, you know, her showing her racism, her caucosity, her audacity, her ignorance and all of that stuff publicly because she knew what she was doing and she knew what she was trying to do. She went in this woman's inbox. She paid her compliment and, to, you know, the typical, um, oh, I have black friends or I have this. She tried to find some type of way to connect or relate and all of that. And that's what a lot of people do. That's what true racists do. They'll say, I've got black friends. Let's look at our, our last uh, presidential administration. Um, the first thing they did was they hired a couple black people because they knew that they would be talked about um, and run through the ringer. Uh, if they did not have at least two black people in uh, major positions um, overall. Um, black women are discriminated against when it comes to a lot of business and um, other deals um, as far as our knowledge um, in the cosmetology world, even so much as we limit ourselves as well. Um, the I went to Paul Mitchell and I went to Steiner Institute for Skin um, and I went to Paul Mitchell uh, for cosmetology. So I have full training um, in aesthetics and full training in cosmetology. Um, I actually went well over my hours <laughs> uh, because I was in the honors program and I participated in a lot of off campus out of salon um, events and activities. So I finished my program earlier than the 10 months it took for me to get my 1500 hours. Um, so it's, it's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of different things um, with that, um, you know, so they, they look now in some cases they expected you. Some of them, I even experienced racism on the floor among, you know, other students, you know, they think that because a uh, black woman's hair doesn't necessarily grow as easily or there are scalps or not full of oil and we don't have to wash our hair every day that we don't understand the concept of if you have damage in your hair you know um and where you may have five inches of damage but psychologically you think that if you lose those five inches you lose your beauty when you don't you know um at the end of the day you know um so it's it's a lot of different things. Would you rather have, you know, would you rather have your hair all the way halfway through your back or do other things, um, you know, through you? Would you rather have it halfway down your back? But half of that is um, damaged. OK, it looks like an upside down Christmas tree. Or would you rather have um, hair at your shoulders that's healthy that can grow all the way down your back and beyond? And the reason why it's only halfway down your back is because it was damaged in the first place. Okay. Um, a lot of different things. Um, again, you know, tap your screen, tap your screen. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the likes. Um, it's a lot of different things, right? So... You know, um, as other things going on with diversity. So what this woman did in her LinkedIn inbox, this white woman did to another sister was literally simply said, hey, well, um, I can relate because of X, Y and Z. And I, um, you know, I got this going on. I'm not fighting for this cause and I'm fighting for that. And how is it? Um, your child's sexual preference <laughs> has anything to do with the simple fact that I wake up black and a woman every day and that there are other women that wake up that are of another race outside of being Caucasian every day that um, are qualified to do some of these high level jobs. Okay. They have the certifications, they have the years experience, they have the degrees. And you just think that we get these positions because 
oh, just because we're black. Listen, baby, I would be the CEO of some company if companies were just hiring black women because they were black, okay? Without degrees, without certifications and all of that. And yes, there are certifications that you can grab online from Google um, that make you qualified to do a lot of different things um, for jobs. You can look those up. Um just is certifications. They help with uh, technical support and all of those different things. You can do those as well. Um, there's a lot of tools also that can help you with business ladies. Go to LinkedIn. Um, even if you don't sign up for a premium account, set yourself up a profile. LinkedIn is another uh type of social media where you can connect and network, um, find event planners, um, anything, you know, people for hire, anything that you're looking for, you know, as well, or going through there. Okay. Um, as far as a lot of different things, it's more than just a spot just to go find a job. Um, it's a spot to improve different things, improve how you run your business. And the thing is that they offer that for free. This is without the premium subscription. With the premium subscription, they add some other things to it, okay? If you are hiring, they're looking for things. So it's definitely um, some other things that you can add to it as well. Hello, hello. Welcome to my page. Um, thank you for signing on. Um, uh, today is kind of a, a bit of a relaxed day um, for uh, for me uh, with that. I said I, I made a point to myself that I was going to go live um, to my over 1,400 followers. Shout out to the Black Girl Follow Train again. Uh, my cash app information is in there. Listen, if you want to sell a dollar, two dollars, or anything like that, hey, please, by all means. Um, starting next week, I will actually be doing some skincare and some makeup basics. I even see on a lot of the Sisters on Hair page, um, a lot of them are doing, I won't even necessarily say advanced, a whole lot of advanced makeup techniques, um, but some of them do do techniques and a lot of people have a lot of questions about some basic, basic makeup. So, um, and a lot of things with basic makeup, the thing is that you want to focus on is before you even get to the makeup stage, you want to make sure that your skin is rocking the way that it should. Um, you want to make sure that your skin um, looks good, uh, it feels good. Um, you want to make sure that your skin is, um, you know, clear. Um, even if you have some type of pigmentation, you have products to combat that. And um, while certain things like cleansing oils and all of that, those work to, you know, grab product off your face. But it also depends on your skin type and whether you have dry, normal, combination, oily, or even a combination of all of those. For some people, they can have dryness here. You know, and again, it's a combination of skin. You can have dryness here, but your skin be oily here and here, you know, as well. A lot of different things. Um, you can have dryness in your T-zone. You can also have oiliness in your T-zone. Um, I build up a lot of oil in this area around the bridge of my nose, um, on my nose, um, not so much anywhere else, just my nose is extremely shiny. So there are periods of time, especially in the warmer months where my nose actually has, um, my, I have more of enlarged pores. So a product that I use, if you go back to, um, a couple videos back at the start of the year, I talked about the pore reducer that comes with a microdermabrasion set um, that is available through the link of my bio from um, Mary Kay. So you can utilize that product as well. Um, another thing that you can do 
um, is you want to just start your skin off. You need a skincare system, a skincare system, a skincare system. And what I mean by a skincare system, you do not have to start off with a whole bunch of stuff. A system is simply two parts, okay? Anything more than one is two parts, okay? Um, and really, I'm going to say three because you're going to need this uh, Skin Vigorate brush, okay? So, the Skin Vigorate brush um, is available on my website right now for $75, but I have a few extra in my inventory. So, if you DM me, you can get it for $60, okay? Um, later on this month, Mary Kay is offering it on our websites for a little bit less, but all this month, I'm actually doing it for $60. So, if you want it for $60 until I am out um of the product then um i'm out of those uh in stock which i have i believe two left um then absolutely you can grab those i can check my inventory for that okay um so i do have some additional products so if you're kind of new on the live i do have some additional products that are available um i have a pink clay mask a charcoal mask uh micellar water and um eye makeup remover okay um and even if you don't wear a lot of eye makeup the eye makeup remover also doubles as just a regular lash cleaner okay you can use this whether you use falsies um you get your eyelashes extensions you get extensions as well or just for your regular eyelashes you just want to clean them on a regular basis um this helps pull the dirt the oil the bacteria and everything else that lash mites actually live on we all have lash mites okay so don't let anybody tell you anything different we all have lash mites um they happen it's just small little you know microscopic organisms okay that just happen you know there's no way to prevent it but it does happen okay um it is, um, they eat on the bacteria, all the things that, you know, the white blood cells, everything that is on your eyelashes and on your eyes, okay? That's why it's important that you wipe and clean your eyes every, um, regularly. So, get yourself some eye makeup remover. Again, I have those and those four items in access to, um my uh product and i will actually be talking about those later on i uh i will be doing a live tomorrow um morning and hopefully after a um i have a zoom meeting to do tomorrow morning um so i will be going live with those products i went live earlier this week and talked about my time wise um repair system i'm also going to talk about the time wise 3d system as well as those products that i have available um that for you to purchase direct from me and you can literally do those um you can literally purchase those cash app we you know i arrange for them to get to you um and set it up that way as well but if you want to you know send your sister a blessing in the new years then go ahead and by the way just like simply hey hey girl his spot look i literally looked last night and somebody and uh, someone literally started sending me um cash app so thank you um very much you know the black girl follow train sometimes just a little bit encouragement um i am working on just simply you know running my business um i have a planner that i am working on that i need to launch as well um this is a little different than instagram so i have to figure out how to work this thing um and then also i'm, I'm still working on the designs but um actually it's two planner designs that i'm working on one is going to be a male planner i am a chef um as well as a beauty professional um so a lot of the questions that i would get when people would be sitting in my chair would be um well what do you eat to keep your skin you know so nice and I, listen i got rough parts um you know even as a darker skinned woman we experience hyperpigmentation and that hyperpigmentation depends on whether or not we are a picker or not will literally settle in um a lot faster but the products that i'm using from mary Kay, our um our c uh plus reserve and 
our um, hyaluronic acid uh, boosters from our clinical line um, as well as the clinical solutions I'm actually about to start that product but I think I actually I'm going to do that for the next eight weeks is literally go it's a once a week application for eight weeks I apply the skincare is what I normally do so I will be using our time wise repair okay so I'll also be getting like a dual retinal uh, dose in that aspect because our um, night solution has a our night solution has a reservatrol um encapsulated reservatrol um i'm sorry encapsulated retinol in its uh formula which time releases fights against the skin scales also skin um cells uh cell turnover skin cell turnover um as well as um encouraging collagen producing um fun fact okay so when people come to me they say oh well isn't that for white women isn't that for old women you know talking about Mary Kay I'm like listen baby it's for every skin okay there's no such thing as products just for um just for black hair just for um it might be an art a target audience but let me be frank let me be real as a beauty professional and someone that has been a beauty um, enthusiast and been in the beauty world since she was very, very young. There is no such thing as products for just black hair or just white hair or just anything. You have several different textures of hair. If you've ever met a black person, then you know that you haven't met them all because we all have different textures of hair. The blonde that is on my ends actually looks a different texture than what actually grows out of my head. It actually appears drier than what it is because, and if you've ever met a true blonde, okay, white person, or um, even someone that uh, has the condition of being albino. Um, and that um, I have a friend that's albino, a former classmate um, that is albino. Uh, they both had blonde hair. Um, however, you know, it was still very dry. If you, there are Caucasian people that are also albino, but if you've ever met a true blonde, if you've ever seen, and you can tell the difference between a colored blonde and a true blonde, their hair is very limp. They are missing the medulla, which is a structure in the hair shaft that allows the hair to actually, you know, have some structure, maintain a curl, hold a style, all of those different things. So they need products for volume and all of that. Okay. Someone that is actually born. However, a person's hair that's African-American or of another race that is very fine, but coarse hair, their hair doesn't necessarily hold a curl that well, okay? My hair is not extremely coarse. My hair is fine to medium, but um, it is also wavy and also curly, depending on what where you're looking at on my head, okay? I have a couple different textures on my hair. And your hair and your skin changes actually every seven years. Okay. So, um, you know, what you are, you know, looking at with your hair. Um, and please, you know, just hit the screen. Tap the screen. Give me some likes. Give me some likes. Give me some likes. You know, tap. Give it some likes. Some likes. Some likes. Like that. Okay. Um, definitely, anytime you do uh, that, that helps um, as well. Um, I want to try to get up to a thousand likes at the end of this. You know, so, um, you know, that works as well. Uh, but... Um, 
with the uh, skin or the skin care, you just want to make sure that you're looking at that. If your hair is dry naturally, okay, and fine hair, even though it looks very limp and the scalp might be oily and everything else, it still needs a certain amount of moisture. It still needs something to seal in the moisture, okay? A lot of times when we use oils, there are different types of oils. You have dry oils, you have um, emuls emulsifying oils, you have um, carrier oils essential oils you know all of those different things um those products work with that be wary of products that are alcohol based okay whether you're creating them you order them from a chemist and all of that so um it there are products that we encourage that are made by um you know black founders or companies but please look at the ingredients okay because some companies are still black founded the original owners um still have stock and all of that i know y'all have been seeing the post about my l uh, look warning to you the reason why you buy things two at a time is one you always have a backup and then when you get low you know that you can order the next one so you always have one in the chamber <laughs> that's a little ganjo but um it and it, it not really a joke because it listen this gun violence is off the hook but that you know that's a sidebar but you always have one as a backup so you always get two okay you know uh unless you are super dirt poor you're not buying one loaf at a time Unless you really are that picky and you're never home and you're just not going to do anything like that. But typically, if you know you're making sandwiches, it's more than just doing the house. You, you're still buying two loaves at a time. And you know your habits. So, you're buying two products at a time. So, when the Mayo um, Rosemary Oil gets back in stock, then go on ahead and um, buy you two. Okay? Because what they did was they bought five and six and then they gave them to all to their girlfriends. You know how we don't share stuff? <laughs> we got the, the, That's what this black girl training is about. So we can always share um, different uh, products with that. A, um, a good uh, dry oil spray. Um, Taraji Pinson has her own line. Works really well. Her curl puddings and the moisturizers work really, really well. Okay. Um, and they work for all types, okay? Um, there is a company I have not tried yet, and I do want to do, I will do a review on them um, when I order. It's called Basket Lather. They have a amazing hair oil that works really well. In the meantime, if you want to add rosemary to your hair oil, go to Amazon. Go get yourself, um, I think it's Sun Essentials brand. I use that. Um... And so my own line is out. Um, add the rosemary oil to it. Okay. I'm not going to give you my recipe for the whole thing. Because <laughs> um, for uh, to make that. And it uh, is not biting off of my L's formula. But I've been using rosemary in my hair oil for years. Um, uh, as well as some other essential oils as well. Um so yeah it's room for everybody at the top look it's crowded i don't know what at the bottom it's room for everybody at the top so listen look if you got an idea for hair oil and all that other stuff so that way the the dollars still circle around the black community still circle around the black woman um follow train they still circle around um <clears throat> other black owned businesses for that i saw one for it and i know it's a deep southern thing and i only knew that it was like my my cousins down in south carolina some of them some folks in georgia texas um and louisiana they eat these kool-aid pickles and i'm just a pickle girl i like pickles i like and if i want a sweet pickle i get bread and butter i don't know who you are um <laughs> yeah i get bread and butter but yeah um so i do those um uh so i'm gonna try that out look it's something the pickle i saved the video listen but um sadiddy dust did the video with that um a brilliant young lady she has done some stuff with airbnb she did some other things i took a couple of her classes listen look we can all learn from each other um 
but like I said, I will be doing um, some skincare. I'm just going to hop on here and listen. Y'all can follow me on Bego. I'm actually going to post my profile from Bego on a um, post. So that, that way y'all can follow me on there. Because I'm going to go live on Bego too. Um, <laughs> at some point talking about the skincare. What we doing. Um, everything else. And then also some makeup basics. Some dash on the go looks. A lot of people ask a lot of questions. I've seen on a lot of different lives. And they don't get their questions answered. And it's not because the host doesn't want to answer the question. It's just because they're looking for the look. That's going to you know that's going to work for their audience. But you do have some people in your audience so i see where um i can serve and be needed I, yes i can do some advanced uh, um elements and i'm still learning and grow please always learn still and grow in your craft okay um but there's a lot of different things you can go on like um i'm just using this filter for the lashes i like the lashes okay but my natural lash is long it just doesn't curve up so i have to use mascara in order to make my lash curve up so um <clears throat> to do that uh you know how to use um different concealers or powders some people will literally because they're just naturally cynical i seen somebody a comment saying somebody lying because that i ain't never seen no makeup artists use how many artists have you watched that have made up people that are not social media has just started okay social media has just started you know like highlighting people doing things but some of these tricks have been around for years there's nothing new under the sun some of the fashion that i've seen some of it comes from my favorite part part of decade um of the 1940s okay and the fashion from the 40s was repeated again in the 70s okay some of it in the 70s okay some of the stuff that you see one of my favorite designers out some of that stuff came from the 70s did this is he has this flowery pilly plum black jumpsuit that is fire okay and if you go to his website because he just launched it today maybe you can get it if you can get it in your size go get it um but the inspiration comes from the 1970s. A lot of different things. You know, these big, glorious sleeves. Honey, listen, 60s, 70s. And always fashion is always in style. It, repeats it. Um, it constantly repeats itself, okay? Um, so, the other side of it. Um, even with uh, makeup. Eyebrows have changed up and down, up and down. Do you know how many times, like, then eyebrows have been the thing within um the the last century <laughs> which i was born at the end of in this century <laughs> um okay the 20th century and the 21st century do you know how many times that eyebrows have gone through different eyebrows the cuts and the eyebrows uh phew, that was out in the 70s okay and it really started because someone that had a cut on their eyebrow <laughs> You know, it wound up being a fashion trend. So now people literally, they do makeup to make it, get it like that. Men have been getting it cut um, for that as well. So it's, you know, a lot of different things. Um, hey, sweetie, I'm not going live together though right now. Um, so yeah, so it's a lot of, um, a lot of things. Um a lot of different options um you know a lot of different things we can do as I, as I was saying earlier um you know there's a lot of different ways that this black woman train has been attacked like why is gotta be a black woman train because we have to make our own train every time black folks make something and other persons of color other people of other interests always benefit off of it and we always get the short of the scent not today not today satan not here in this 2023 okay listen we are going to follow each other we are going to support each other listen sometimes i just scroll through what i like and i throw up some hearts and everything else even if i don't get to it i try to go back and you know follow everybody um they are kind of slowing down uh the train just a little bit um but you know just keep posting keep posting Keep posting because people are going to share. People are going to comment. People are going to like. Um, again, but I am, um, I am doing free virtual facials um, with 
uh, on, uh, so we can do that on a FaceTime. We can do that on a WhatsApp. It, it will probably be on a Zoom. I will give you a Zoom link and you can use that um, as well um, to hop on and be able to do that. Um, to do that aspect so we can do a virtual face and we can talk about different things we can talk about hyperpigmentation um i had some like i said for darker skinned women sometimes it takes a very long time for stuff to clear up you know sometimes we traumatize our skin um be careful uh if your wax person goes too hot or you try to really dig into something because you're annoyed because you really want to go away, you know, with picking your skin, the right products can help you reduce those things and, you know, help the process go a little bit faster. But, um, you know, a lot of different things can happen. Okay. Um, yeah, I like this folder because it only gives you lashes. And I don't know about the glossy lips, so I probably had to do another one at another time. But ah, it is what it is. Um, I don't really like the gloss at the you know top of that. I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, so it's it's a lot of different things you know can support. Um, like I said, I am coming out with a planner um, launch. There are some things that I have to do uh, to get from the designer. I'm actually waiting for some things to come in. It will not ship until later on in the month. But I am doing a, a whole suite. So that is going to include a male planner. Like I said, I am a beauty professional as well as a culinary professional as well. Um, not just, oh, okay, well, yes, I did start out learning how to cook for my grandma, my mamas, and um, aunties and them <laughs> when I was very young. But I do have a culinary arts degree. Um, I am uh, certified as well. Um, I have a credit planner that is coming out. I'm, being, I'm certified by the CCA. Um, as well, uh, so, and that is, um, the Credit uh, Consultation Association, um, in the United States, we have to renew that every two years, um, I first got certified in 2020, recertified in 2022, um, I have, you know, even with myself, just the credit knowledge allows myself to actually increase my credit, pay some things off, and be able to leverage some things to get me to a certain point, okay, um, everybody's journey is different, but getting there, but I do plan on creating a planner within that suite. Um, I also plan on creating a planner that is going to help you work out, you know, with your faith, period. We all need faith. We all need to believe in it and everything else. The thing is that nothing can manifest without God, whether you believe in him or not, you know, um, that's just a simple fact. <laughs> Another fun fact. Listen. So I talked to you about um, earlier, for those that have been hanging with me, about um, the fact that, one, there is no such thing as a product just for black hair. It is targeted at a black audience. So these black owned um, businesses that start hair companies and everything else, they show a lot of us and all the other stuff. They made the products that work for it. Okay. However, if they were just a regular creating just a regular product line, um, such as for example, like Taraji P. Henson, her pro she is a black woman and she utilized the products on her hair, but she created a line that works for all hair types. Okay. She has, if you go through go through the business page, um, outside of her personal page as well, you'll see different people of all different skin complexions as well as hair types that use her hair products so they work well okay so it's not just for curly products paul mitchell if your hair lacks volume regardless of whether or not you're black white blue yellow chinese <laughs> um any of those things chinese korean latino um uh east indian native american it does not matter. Guess what? If your hair is fine, then you need a product for fine hair. If your hair is for fine and curly, then you need a product that is going to work for curly hair. 
and fine hair. You want a product that's going to define your curls, okay? All right? If you're trying to define your curls. Or you need a product that is going to have a serum, not silicone-based, not alcohol-based, that is going to allow your hair to smooth out, straighten out without damaging the integrity of the hair, okay? Um, if you need moisture in your hair, you are going to need to use a mask. There is no specific mask for black hair <laughs> you know what i'm saying for extra because the hair is extra curly when i was in school they said it was like oh you know i want to do a texture client do you know how many texture clients i did that weren't officially black some were jewish like their family line stayed pretty much almost pure like close to jesus pure Some of them were Egyptian, which essentially they're African too. You getting that? Some of them were um, Asian. Do you realize that Asian texture is actually coarse? It's the amount of oil that comes out of their scalp that allows them to do it. That uh, allows for the hair to be like smooth. But you know, some of them actually have curly hair. Some of them actually have wavy hair. It's not all straight and sticking up. Just usually like that because it literally goes straight out the head. And the only way you can do it, that's why we, we have that, you know, Korean yak back in the day, in the 90s. That um that Asian hair, that's why it worked so well for the ponytails we would look. Because the amount of oil of it and the structure of it allowed it to be straight, but it was coarse enough to where it still looked like what our hair looked like once we relaxed it. Or just straightened it, okay? That good press and comb, ain't nothing wrong with a good press and comb, okay? I did my time with the press and comb um, uh, back in the day. <laughs> uh, my preference is still, and grandma is not here, to get grandma to press my hair. <laughs> And one of my best friends is my stylist, and I'm also a stylist. So, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah. So as far as skincare products, so um, let me get back to that point. Um, I am a Mary Kay consultant. I restarted my business in 2020. I originally started my business when I was 20 years old. Okay, it's been over 20 years. Um, and the products have always been for all types of skin. Now, there were some fail saves with some, uh, you know, chemistry with some other products that no longer are carried. Um, but they definitely have worked to diversify. But here's a fun fact. The person behind the technology, Mary Kay is an app. Yes, an app. Yes, there is an app. You can shop with me. You can download and literally shop with me. Um, yeah, you look it up. Look up Morgan Robertson. You're, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Maryland's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can literally shop with me on your app through Mary Kay. The person behind that, okay, is a black man in his 30s. Okay, uh, the color matching. So we have setting powders, we have concealers, we have matte foundations as well as luminous foundations as well. Um, we also have CC creams. Okay, um, and we also have cream to powder foundations as well. Okay, all of those are being overseen and um, saw and created and tested by a black chemist who is a woman and a black dermatologist who is also a woman. Hmm. Fun fact, that's Mary Kay. Hmm. So when you say that you're not supporting a black owned business, you're lying. OK, when you say that you purchase from Mary Kay, you're and you're not supporting a black owned business, you're lying. My individual black owned business through my website that i pay taxes on is black owned and i distribute through the company mary k who employs a black dermatologist a black chemist and a black brand specialist as well as a black technician the person that decides what products goes out is a black woman 
We're moving up in the world. So this black girl follow train is not ending. Okay. That's why it's so important that you set an appointment, one-on-one appointment with me or set a party with me. Because please understand that I'm aiming to be a black national. I'm aiming to be a black independent sales director in Mary Kay. While I still plan on having other businesses and trust and believe these other women have other businesses, this will help catapult. So if you can send a cash app, okay? Um, my goal is this month, is um two thousand dollars um so if you can go to my website and place an order click the link in my bio if you can send a um if you send a cash app it's located down here it's also on um a couple of my other um couple of my other videos okay um if you want to place a order and find out what products i have on hand if you need a mask i have a clay mask available i also have a charcoal mask available i have micellar water available i have liners i have lipsticks i have lip glosses i have mascaras okay i have um eye patches okay i have those available as well um i have um body butters that work wonderful on the skin I have eczema. My son has eczema. Literally, he goes through two to three jars within a month. Okay. And uses that in combined in a combination. Okay. The um, products absolutely work. I'm not pushing it. Not to mention, if you start a business with Mary Kay, you can also earn 50% off of everything that you choose to sell. Um, anything, 50% off of anything purchased off your website and a 50% discount given that you are active. Um and place a initial minimum uh, order, you will get 50% off of every single thing that is ordered off of your website, okay? Um, so, yeah. Um, that's, you know, that's pretty much how it works, you know? So, even if you're looking to get 50% off of your skincare, hit me up, okay? If you're looking to have a party, if you're looking to try out some new products and get a jump start on your skincare, listen, look, spring and summer is coming, Valentine's Day is coming up, you literally have um, a little bit over five weeks to you know really get through your skincare routine clinical solutions i actually have three of those in stock available it's a two-part system it uses um the highest at home amount of retinol that's available again these products were developed by black women from the company mary Kay. um and it also includes a um, cream as well two-part system you wash your face first so you're going to need to purchase a cleanser from me a moisturizer from me and that clinical solution system um to get started uh at the very least okay um there's other things that you may go on with that ask me how we can bundle some of those things that actually get a discount ask me how you can get products for free send me an inbox i'll be happy to talk to you about it tap the screen and give the sister some likes okay um shout out to the better go follow train shout out to everyone that is popping in pop it out it does not matter listen you want to see more of me soon <laughs> i'll listen i'm not playing with this thing all right um Gotta go. Because, yeah, my stomach is touching my back. Bye.